Are you haunted by Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, or the ghost of Hayden Christensen? Do you experience cold spots in your basement or attic? Is there something strange in your neighborhood? <laughs> Ghostbusters. So we started Digital Wizards about four years ago, and we wanted to just make cool movies about all the things that we love, all these nerdy things like comic books and superheroes and Jurassic Park and Ghostbusters. And uh, Ghostbusters is now like our new hot video. Yeah, it's a really outstanding video. I think it speaks to a lot of people at the moment because there's a little bit of controversy, isn't there, about how the new film's gonna be um, you know, received uh, how people are a bit upset about the fact that they've rebooted it with all female cast. Yeah, it's it's amazing how much judgments have come down on a movie that none of us have even seen yet. Yeah, like I for one, I'm kind of like optimistic about maybe this is going to be a fun movie. They I think they, they need to be able to reboot it, and then obviously they I think they've announced that they can then return with other Ghostbusters uh, crews. Maybe one from Philadelphia would be quite good fun, or an LA Ghostbusters. Right. Well, there was always like a line in the original Ghostbusters movie where like Bill Murray said, and the franchising rights alone will make us rich. I yeah. thought that was just like, oh, that'd be an easy way to open the door for like a new Ghostbusters movie. One of the things that we wanted to do with our Ghostbusters movie was we were like, it's 2016, everybody's a Ghostbuster. So let's do Doctor Who's a Ghostbuster, Iron Man, Batman, Superman, they're all Ghostbusters. And then when they all come to the rescue at the very end, it makes for this like, huge epic ending yeah it's brilliant i mean obviously we talked about um stop motion uh, i know a few friends who have dabbled in it in the past it's such uh, you know a time labor intensive thing to play at can you talk us through the scope of, of making that ghostbusters video sure. it's, it's insane the the sets okay. you've got for it so what we did was we combined eight different guys collections we all brought in our own buildings uh we designed some new buildings uh, but we have to figure out like what sets do we need? Like we needed a library, we need the inside of Dana's apartment, we need the top of Spook Central. So then we divide up like who's gonna work on what. Uh, James Banks ended up building up like almost the majority of it. And he's able to, the good thing about like kind of dividing and conquer on things is James and Damon can build on things while I'm animating. So it kind of gives us, you know, a little bit, a better plan to be able to like attack it and get it done faster. Stop motion takes a while, but it also takes a little while to set things up too. So like even just getting the building set up, lights, the motion control rig, getting that all programmed, that takes, there's like 10 hours of like goes into the preparation of a shot before we start even animating that shot. And then that shot gets animated for like anywhere from like two to eight hours. So like you might see five seconds from our movie and that took like 25 or 30 hours to actually like get to that point that's crazy so it's a labor of love isn't it and yeah, it's a really it's, nice touch when the the um the stay puff marshmallow comes in because i believe that's um, an extended part of your 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 crew isn't it oh the stay puff marshmallow man is played by my daughter Haley, and she loves being in our movies she's like helped animate in the past uh on jurassic park and then this time she wanted to be in the movie so we got her a halloween costume and then we filmed her on a green screen, like stomping around and like fighting these different superheroes, crushing the Batmobile with her foot. And for her to be able to spend time with me and like do the things that we love to do together, it's so rewarding as a father to be able to share these kinds of things with her. It's fantastic. It adds a nice little real life element to the video. Uh, the other thing that sticks out is the voices. I think the voices of the Ghostbusters, you really nail them. How did, how did you oh. work on that? We just, we watched the movie a lot. Uh, and I've been like voicing cartoons for like our own stuff for like years now. Uh, but also some of the other guys I work with, uh, Chris Osborne, who plays Ray, he is an actor. Gopal is a voice actor and he's done, yeah, he did Winston. And then Egon was played by my friend Jordan Johnson, who's also a brick filmer. All these guys, they're just, they're passionate about the voices. And I think that's what helps sell it because it's gonna be hard to be Bill Murray or Ivan Reitman or Harold Ramey or uh, Dan Aykroyd. Like these are some of the best comedians that came out of the 80s. Like how do we compare it? Like we're just a bunch of guys trying to make a cool movie, you know? Like, so we gotta put our own spin on things and try to do like capture the essence of the voice and make still make it cartoony and fun. Yeah, well everybody here at Heroes for Sale loved it. And thanks very much for letting us uh, for letting us show a clip of it. We're going to come back to that now. So thanks very much, Paul. We'll speak to you soon. 
Great. Thanks a lot. See ya. Are you a god? No. Then die. Ray, if someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes. I'm out. The process of doing a Kickstarter at this moment in time for like I do a zombie serial called The Few. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm kickstarting that at the, at the moment. And it's just, it's so demoralizing because you're putting it on and, you, and you're looking at it every five minutes and you're refreshing your emails and you're like, no one's backed me. No one's backed me. Everyone hates me. No one likes my stories. Why am I doing it? Ah, you just want to throw all your toys out the pram. And yeah. then all of a sudden you get like a backer from somewhere that you don't